Well, hello there, Virgo. How are you guys? How are you doing? I hope all of you guys are good. This reading is for the new moon in Sagittarius, which was on the 30th of May. Um, a new lunar month is upon us and new energies are coming in. It's a good time to manifest and to pray to bring things in for you. It's a good time for growth and expansion in any kind of form. It's a time for new beginnings. Venus is in the sign of Taurus, which is a fellow Earth sign, and she rules Taurus. Her energy is very powerful at the moment, especially for love situations. The deck I'm going to be using tonight, you guys, is the Lenor Fairy Lenormand deck, which is one of my favorite decks that I like to use. And the fairies are amazing at divining. They bring in, they give you the 411. <laughs> Everything that's going on, they know about everything. All right, you guys, let's see what the fairies have for you guys. The first card. Give me a sign, uh, a sign fairies. Give me a card for, for Virgo. Virgo, you guys are so beautiful. I love you guys. One of my favorite um, star signs. I'm Capricorn rising, so of course I like Virgos. We can't stop talking, me and Virgos. Once we get talking, we can't stop talking. It's amazing. And I just find you guys very beautiful as well in appearance, Virgos. They have this very attractive like appearance. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you got two parts. So the first card that you're getting here is the anchor and the anchor speaks about a lot of stability. Wow, you've got the bouquet as well. Wow, <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, you guys, I think some, some, something important is gonna happen to you guys very soon. Um, the anchor is about work and it's about abundance. Some kind of improvement or forward movement with regards to work. To be honest, I've been seeing the energy of abundance since I've start, I started like shuffling the cards or maybe a bit before that even. Ever since I said, hello Virgo, I was seeing pound signs, I was seeing dollar bills, I was seeing, you know, like money. And then I thought to myself, I can't say I'm expecting a lot of abundance to come towards you like every single reading that I've ever done. Let me see if anything else comes out. I was like, I don't want to bore these people. But it's really coming in, I think something really abundant is happening, Virgo. There's something that has to do with money um, and with stability in general as well, like in addition to the money. Um, the number eight is significant for some of you guys. I'm getting it from spirit. It could be the day or date, date of birth or even month of birth um or even in your address where or maybe you're saying eight or eight 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 or something like that synchronicities i do feel for many of you that your ships are coming in especially with regards to love there's something brewing in the atmosphere that wants to bring some kind of powerful connection in for you i feel that for you guys it's a it's a karmic gift it's a positive karmic gift it's like good karma for the things that you've done and for everything that you've been through, I mean, many of you have been through it, when it especially when it comes to love and relationships. And I do feel like because you guys are, are hermits and you like to spend time alone anyway, but when it gets too much or too long, it becomes a little bit burdensome. So I think that you need someone around you. You know, there's a lot of energy of love that's going to be start coming into your life. For some of you, this is something that's been going on for a very long time that will see resolution now, whatever it is. If it's a relationship, it's going to be amazing now. If it's some, you haven't had a relationship, a new one is coming in for the first time in like ever. <laughs> and if uh, it's something that you want to, someone that you come, wanna, want them to come from the past or so on, they're definitely coming in. Okay, so the next card here that you get here is the lily. This is a beautiful card. Um, the lily in this deck is about purity and simplicity. 
um, is also about physical attraction or about something like happening there's an issue of age here maybe there's an age difference or someone uh, uh, is getting a love relationship in the, after waiting for a very long time like many years the lily also represents aging gracefully and that you are beautiful i know virgos age very grateful gracefully if they ever age they don't really age easily um <laughs> Which is a very good thing, you guys, you know. It's part and parcel of why I like the way you look, you guys. I think it's very timeless. There is, um, the, the spirits are talking about honor and about someone will be honor, honorable towards you, Virgo, or you will be like that towards someone. Um, it's like, when this, also when this card comes in, it's like it's showing things from an, a wise perspective, like someone who's been through a lot and they can tell you about it, someone older than you. Maybe you have a friend who is very wise, who is giving you advice about uh, about situation or even someone, a psychic or someone who's very wise. And you've got the sun card. So the sun is definitely coming up for you guys. I don't know why I feel like this has been dragging on for ages for some of you. Like this has been going on for a long time. Something's been going on that you were not really happy about. When it comes to love and relationship. That will finally get straightened out now. Okay. And it's going to be through. Some, for many of you through your own wisdom. And through your right choices. Whatever you've done, you've been doing the right things. So don't doubt yourself. The energy of abundance with regards to this reading is absolutely unshakable. Okay? And I feel that there is definitely good news coming to you guys soon. I feel for some of you there is communication as well. Because they're showing me a letter. A letter. And it's like sealed. This is almost like I'm getting the energy also of something being a sealed deal. Like once you meet this person or they start talking to you, then you'll know that this is the one for you. This old energy as well, the spirits are saying for some of you who believe in past lives, which I think are real. I mean, in one way or another, there is something, some kind of connection from an ancient time or an older time between two people, like a past life connection. Um, it is a definitely some kind of soulmate or twin flame reunion that's happening because I can feel that these two people are very compatible with each other. There's a really a high degree of compatibility. For some of you, this is also a same sex relationship where two men or two women are falling in love with each other which is beautiful and amazing and it's gonna make you very happy whoever you are that's watching this reading you're really gonna be happy because this person that's coming into your life is just a, just they've got joy written all over them happiness and joy they're very positive person half half, half full kind of person very abundant and organized, but at the same time also very positive and just so amazingly wise. Um, and I feel that this is probably the, the wisdom energy that I was picking up on earlier. There could be as well an age difference for some of you, like I said, that I'm getting that energy very strongly. Um, and I really do feel that it's going to be amazing. This thing is gonna, just going to come clapping into your life, Virgo. <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, this thing is going to come together. And it's time is now, um, the spirits are saying to me. Okay, so be prepared for the best. Alright, you've left everything negative behind. Now is your time to get your karmic rewards and move forward and just be positive about things. And, you know, have at least have something nice happening for you for a change. <laughs> you know, for some of you haven't seen this kind of energy for a while or they've been struggling with this kind of situation. But it is coming to you now in all its glory and 100% genuine and fantastic. 
Okay, you guys, I love you guys so much. I close this off with a prayer. My dear God, please come into the life of Virgo. All the Virgos, make them happy, make them smile in their home life, in their relationships, in their love lives. My God, please give them success, abundance, and big abundance with regards to all of their money and investments and business. And my God, please let them reap the rewards of everything that they've sown in the past in terms of karmic gifts. Give them fully, give them in multiples, my God. Thank you, my God. Give them health, wealth, love, prosperity, happiness, and most importantly, protection from all harm. I love you guys so much. Uh, details for private readings and donations are in the description. And if you get a chance, please like, share, or subscribe, Virgo. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye for now.